Hey y'all, I'm James Wright, and today I want to talk about my keys. So Rex Kruger is a good friend of mine, and he is starting up a tool company, which I think is a really cool idea. And as a first tool, he came up with this weird design. So when he released this doohickey, I thought, yeah, it looks kind of cool, and I'll buy one to support my friend, but uh, I don't know if I'll really use it. So almost a year ago, he released these for patrons, and I got number 144 out of 200. Now fast forward about a year later, and he just released these to the general public, and honestly, I have to say, I have been using this way more than I thought I would. So when I got it in hand, my initial thought was, oh, cool, another screwdriver, and yeah, it could do split nuts, I guess. I mean, I've got a few of them in the shop. I even have some weird specialty drivers for that specific specific nut. And the more I looked at it, the more I thought, wait a second, this isn't just a screwdriver. This is most of the specialty screwdrivers. When it comes to screwdrivers, usually the first one you think about is the chip breaker screw. And I've got a big screwdriver that works well for that, and it's where I usually use it. A lot of people do like to use the lever cap, but oh, that just, that annoys me. I've seen so many of these damage that I just, I can't bring myself to do that. And this does actually work for it. It's a little bit sloppy, but hey, it works. So my initial thought was, I wish he would have made that a bit thicker so it wouldn't be sloppy in that screw. But the more I thought about it, the more I realized, wait a second, I've got a ton of screwdrivers that will fit that chip breaker screw. The problem is the thinner ones, I don't have many that fit that. A lot of them have a very thin slot and I can't fit in my big screwdrivers. I'm just gonna strip it out because I can only get the tip in there. With this one, it's thin enough, I can get all the way down in there and I can really torque on this and crank it down with a decent amount of leverage. This is especially important when it comes to vintage saws. Sometimes those slots are incredibly thin and it's very hard to find a screwdriver that can fit it. Yes, you can file a screwdriver down and turn it into a specialty driver, but if you've got this already, it actually fits into that slot nicely and I can tighten it down fairly easily with something I have on me. But the really cool one is split nuts. For this task, I took an old screwdriver and I filed it down and there are a few antiques you can get that will work, but ah, uh, just running it down, this one I've actually ruined over the years and it doesn't quite fit the slot anymore. I've got to do work on this one again. I've got this really cool one from Blackburn Toolworks with a rod that goes through there and an adjustable head. And this one works really well and it's incredibly tight, but I've actually found problems with scratching things up because it's so tight. And then another common problem is that they come in different sizes. You have a larger nut and a smaller nut. And that means I need multiple specialties. And that means I need multiple special screwdrivers. But hey, wait. That's got two split nut drivers on it. The split nut driver will fit perfectly into these larger ones. But for the smaller ones where that doesn't fit in there, I can rotate it and now I've got one that fits into that as well. But wait, we're not done yet. If you have a plane with a spur, you know the pain that, that little screw brings. This tiny little screw is impossible to find a screwdriver. This one is kind of close, but it's a bit big and it just, if I use this, I'm gonna strip it out. I do have this little one, but little ones come with little handles and I just can't get the torque on there to pop it out. These are an absolute pain. But wait, there's a tiny little very thin screwdriver on here that fits that slot perfectly, goes all the way down in, and it loosens it with extra torque. Rex, you're a genius. I love that. But hang on folks, there's still more. There's also a tiny little V-notch on the end of this with a hole at the bottom. This slot is 25 degrees and it has a little hole so it won't hurt the tip of your chisel or plane iron. So now I can put a blade in there and know that I'm exactly 25 degrees and I'm not gonna be hurting the tip because that hole there means that nothing's touching it. Rex and his woodworking style love simplicity, so he sharpens everything at 25 degrees. I like to sharpen things at other angles, and honestly, I don't really care what the angle is most of the time. I just make it either a large angle or a small angle so I can eyeball it and say, yeah, that's about 25 degrees, or I look at my plane irons and say, yeah, it's about 35 degrees, and that's close enough for me. But if you really wanna know the angle of it, having this on hand makes it really fast to just check it, and waha! I love it. But the biggest and coolest part about this whole tool is it goes on the key ring. <laughs> that means that it's always with me. So I'm not trying to find that specific tool that I left somewhere in the shop. And just for that fact that it's always on me means I use it and I use it rather often. If I'm ever using split nuts or nuts on the drivers, this is the one I reach for. Even though I have a very expensive specialty tool, I use this one, which is more affordable. It's on me. I always know where it's at. 
and I have it wherever I'm going, not just in the shop. It is with me just as much as my keys are with me. Now, if you're one of those people who leave your keys somewhere else in the house rather than keeping them on you all the time, well, you just got that ring, you could hang it up somewhere in the shop and know exactly where it goes and, and very easily have a specific place to keep this within reach at all times in the shop. This one has seen almost a full year in my pocket rattling against keys, and you can see it's, it's just about as good as the day it came out. The laser etching on this is deep enough so it's not going to scratch out. It looks great and it has lasted long and even with regular use I haven't bent this at all. It looks in great condition for being used for an entire year. Rex's choice of steel and hardening has really hit the ball out of the park. It's a great tool that lasts long. It is a surprisingly cool tool that is made here in the US and I'm looking forward to using this for decades to come. Yeah. It's on my everyday carry. Now I have to say, I'm not sponsored by this at all. I get no affiliate links to it. I have purchased this one with my own money. That being said, Rex did give me this one as a friend, but that was about a month and a half after I bought this one with my own money. And I am a patron of Rex, so I love what he does. He's a good friend of mine, and he has really done a great job on this one. And because Rex is a good friend of mine, he gave me a couple other sneak peeks at upcoming projects from Compass Rose. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what they come out with in the future. Um, between Rex and DFM Toolworks, they have been doing an awesome job. So yeah, keep it up, guys. There are a few other things that this even does, such as can opening and other things I didn't talk about. So if you have something I forgot or something I should have mentioned, let me know that down in the comments down below. And thank you. Honestly, that does help out the channel. Anytime you comment down below, that helps us get in front of more people and helps the channel grow. It's just like hitting like, share, subscribing. Thank you. That means more than I can say. Now, on top of that, if you want to take it even further, there's a bunch of people over here who are patrons on Patreon. Uh, yes, I am a patron of Rex. I love what he does, and I want to encourage him to do more. So if you'd like to do that here, then think about becoming a patron or becoming a member, clicking the join button down below. We have special perks for both. And thank you for that. That does mean more than I can say because we are completely sponsored by you, the viewer. On that note, I think that'll do it for now. And until next time, have a wonderful day. When Rex first told me he was thinking about making a driver, I was really hoping he'd make a T-shaped one, kind of like this one from Blackburn Tools. That way you could have the T-Rex.